Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, please make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Also give this video a thumbs up because I've always wanted to go to California and being on the Western United States, it takes a good long while to get there. It costs a lot of money as well. And I always had a dream to go to California, but then it hit me, there's a California in the UK. In fact, it's in Norfolk. Here, just off the A149 between Caister and Hemsby, lies a little known place called California. In fact, blink and you miss it. There is a sign there. It has a beautiful beach. There's also some history why it's called California. And oh, yeah, Scrap is just up the road. We'll take a look there too. Let's go. When I said parking is an issue, um, you obviously can park along the roadside actually down here. There's no double yellow lines. So um, yeah, you can park down here. But like I say, there's a bus stop if you're maybe coming from uh, Great Yarmouth. And this is really interesting to see these pillboxes that are dotted around the East Coast. And there's one here as well, that's all overgrown. And this is where California starts now I guess it depends on who you ask because where does California start and where does it end um, you could say it starts right down there and then it goes halfway round to there but this is where you go down towards the main beach and if you've been coming to California for a while you might remember there used to be a, an amusement arcade on here which has since been demolished and these uh, lovely little townhouses have been built. And so this is it. Here we are in California. Some public toilets over here. I don't know if they're actually used anymore. Used to be a little amusement arcade on here. Um, if you really want to get a caravan with a view, Big recommendation to stay on this site, which is Tuddenham Caravan Park. I'll actually have a look around there in just a moment because they've got some really beautiful um, caravans overlooking the sea. But just up here, look, there's somewhere for you to go and get a little bit of food before heading down onto the beach, the California stores. There's a bit of a restaurant going on in there too. A very famous pub around these parts. Again, this has been here for a very long time. Um, I think it's dated back to 1845 or 1857 it's the california tavern it's a nice place to sit outside on a summer's day and one of my favorite chip shops around here i'm not gonna lie is trish's chippy which is open all year They've even got seating in there, a little bit of a restaurant going on. Love these little cottages. Now there has been quite a bit of erosion here in California, so it's a bit of a shame, but it's not falling in the sea just yet. But this is why I love coming to California. Remember the first time I came down here and I was like, wow, this looks pretty. And it's not until you swing left and you see the beach, you'll see how pretty this place actually is. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You can walk for miles 
In fact, you can probably see Winterton in the distance. Scrapby is just further up there. And of course, Hemsby swinging around. And we can come to Caister just around the corner. But you can actually still do the North Norfolk Path along here as well. In fact, there's a sign just down there. We'll come back down onto the beach in a little bit and show you the sandy cliffs, which really does remind you of California. Like, uh, if you're watching this and you've maybe been to Malibu before, it does feel very similar. It's just that the houses are just not as expensive. So you might be thinking, why do they call it California? Now this goes back, there's a couple of different stories, but I believe one of the main stories is there was a ship carrying some gold, um, which kind of got stuck on one of the sandbags, a bit of a shipwreck going on, and uh, a storm brought all the coins kind of onto the beach. Apparently gold coins were found in the cliffs here as well, but if you're hoping to come down here to find some, apparently there hasn't been any seen in a long time. In fact, there used to be a bar down here on the beach, which is no longer here. That was well before I was born though. So this is a really lovely little, pretty little site. You've got a little bar here where you can go and get a drink, play some bingo. And then you've got your holiday homes. And I think they've had some investment recently on the park with some, uh, some new caravans. But these have some amazing views over California. Let's just go and check this out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day to visit California. I mean, it would be wrong for me to show you California on a horrible rainy day. Is I had to pick a day where it was beautifully sunny, otherwise it wouldn't have the same effect, I don't think. But imagine uh, having one of these holiday homes. And just look at the view. So also a lot of people walk through this caravan park to get to Caister as well and uh, down onto the beach. My favourite part of the beach, which I guess is still classed as California, depending on who you ask, they might say, well, actually, that's Caister. I still believe it's kind of California. Um, and let's go and check it out. You know how much I love the seaside. I visit obviously a lot of places on the coast and I've never understood... Um, what this particular flower is called. If someone can let me know in the comments, but um, you always see it growing at the coast. And when it's in flower, it's really beautiful. And in fact, just here, there used to be a bench that has since been removed that you could sit on to get really great views towards the caster. I don't know why they removed it, but you can still see the, uh, the footings. But up here, look, you can see all the way out towards Caister and get almost like a little private view. So heading that direction is the oldest holiday park in the UK. Um, you can check out that video just up here. But this is my favorite part of the beach. It is so beautiful. Obviously it's kind of going on towards Caister here, but we're gonna walk back down through towards California as well. But I love the fact there's these bays that have been put in here as well to stop the erosion, but um, also a great place to come and have a lie on the beach. The sand here is beautiful. The beach is ever changing though, to be honest. Sometimes there's a few pebbles on it. Other times it's completely pristine. So California gets its name obviously because of the gold coins that were found in the cliffs, but not because of this, but it really does look like California. You can see the old sea defenses here as well that have actually been buried in the sand. Love the sound of the waves. So 
So further on is Scrap B. What we're going to do is, uh, I'll show you Scrap B actually. Again, Scrap B is quite small, but we'll have a look. If you've been to Scrap B before, you'll know that uh, the famous landmark of Scrap B, I guess, are the, uh, the cottages right on the end of the cliff. And of course, the beach as well. These boulders were put in to protect California and Scrap B from the, uh, the harsh North Sea, which of course has given us a lot of tidal surges recently in the past 15 years. But this part, this is why it reminds me of California so much, these sandy cliffs, look at this. It's obviously from erosion, but it's just the way that it's, uh, it's like it's on the beach. It's almost like a, uh, a big dinosaur foot that's uh, just sticking out. It's weird, there's all these little uh, areas where you can explore. And it looks like someone here, I guess they shouldn't be doing this in the dunes, but um, placed that to sit on and had uh, a bit of a, a beach fire. I absolutely love California. It is so beautiful. I suggest you take a visit. So let's quickly go and check out Scrapby, which is right next to California. So we're going to walk down towards the beach and through Scrapby itself and see what Scrapby has on offer. The strangest village green, although not officially, I've ever seen. There's a pig there. You'll also see llamas and some very unique little phone boxes, gypsy caravans, and a mushroom. Oh, and another telephone box. I actually love the village sign, which has got Scrapby and California on it. It depicts the cottages and also a long forgotten church, and of course, a sailboat which looks really beautiful. And as village signs goes, isn't it lovely? So an interesting fact, it might only be a small village and in a square, but it's got eight different holiday parks in it. So this is uh, Summerfield's holiday park and um, some of the chalets are just here. Uh, the other holiday park in Scrapby, which is uh, worth a mention because it has a really cool outside swimming pool. However, you can only use it if you're a, a resident on the holiday park. Believe me, I've tried. I've even offered them money to actually go in there and have a swim, but they declined. This is known as Beach Road Chalet Park and a popular restaurant called Moments. But this is the, uh, the chalet park. And I wanted to show you this because it's not very often that you see double-decker chalets, almost like houses but it is actually a really nice sight. And this is the, uh, the, the added bonus I wanna show you. I don't know whether this, obviously because of COVID and everything else, this has been shut, um, but use your imagination on a warm sunny day, check out the outside swimming pool. Obviously, I'm not going to be visiting all the holiday parks. I mean, quite a few of them have um, their own clubhouses, swimming pools, amusement arcades. But for a little village, you know, there's, um, there's quite a lot here. Um, we're just coming up towards Green Farm, which is definitely one of my favourite holiday parks in Scrapby because it is just so beautiful. And I like the, uh, the plants that they've got here because it does feel very Mediterranean. In fact, being on the East Coast, I'm quite surprised that most of these haven't died. They actually don't cover them up during the winter either, but um, they're looking good. There's even a few canary and palms in here. Look at that. I mean, when you arrive on holiday in the UK, this is exactly what you want to see. 
something as beautiful as that right next to your caravan and dotted around the park they've even got a few um, fountains going on as well look at this So moving on from Green Farm and Summerfields, which is behind us, we're heading down towards the beach and uh, a few little places to stop off and have some food along the way. There's a, a tea room stroke restaurant here on the right. And there's even, and look how pretty that building is for hairdressers. This is the other entrance to Green Farm, by the way. Hearing the birds chirping. And a great little place here on the right to get loads of beach toys. Normally, at the weekend, they've got loads of inflatables out here. Sally's gift box. And at Christmas, she does do a very nice little Christmas display in her window. Big shout out to Scrappy Bakery just there, which used to be an old um, betting shop. And we're coming up to these cottages that are a little bit of a Scrappy landmark, which have been here for such a long time. I mean, it's kind of scary when you think about them. These cottages are over 160 years old. And a long time ago, I think the road used to finish here and then obviously in later years um, the road was added al along the seafront. So these were built in 1855 and they've stood here all this time, they've faced the harsh North Sea and all the um, storms in the past but these uh, little fishermen's cottages they are just very quintessentially British aren't they? And interestingly enough, there are a few beach huts here in Scrapby, and I don't understand why. I thought that was a phone line, but um, they've even got electricity going into them as well, which um, is quite nice to have. There's been a couple more added rather recently, which have been painted lovely. But up here on the cliff top, you do get the best views. You can see all the way to Caister in one direction, which is pretty much just over there and panning around you see towards Hemsby and Winston and as I said this particular shot and when the tide goes out a little bit and early in the morning this actually has been photographed and used in many publications around the world believe it or not and in some holiday brochures advertising holidays abroad I know and it's actually Scrapby here in the UK but there you go absolutely beautiful beach and to get down to the beach, anyone who's been coming to Scrubby for a very long time will know there used to be steps down to the beach. But uh, rather recently, they've actually added a slope here in Scrapby, which means it's, uh, it's very wheelchair friendly. And um, a lot easier to get down to the beach. And coming up here on my right hand side is the largest holiday park in uh, California and Scrap be known as California Cliffs. Um, it's got a little amusement arcade, some places to eat, but that gives you the full tour of California and Scrap Bee. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to give it a share as well. Hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.